The movie starts with Tom, a 16-year-old boy, living with his grandma after his parents died. He meets his old friend Danny and a girl named Lucy, who asks for help with schoolwork. Tom is not happy because he misses his parents. He likes studying and helping others, but he is sad inside. One night, he sees Lucy's brother unconscious and a man recording something. Before he could do anything, a bad guy appears and shoots him. He runs away to call the police, but the bad guys chase him and hurt him badly. Ten days later, Tom wakes up in a hospital. The doctor tells him that a bullet hit his phone near his ear and broke into pieces. These pieces are stuck in his brain and cannot be removed. This means his future is not sure. When he goes back home, he notices strange things. He sees weird numbers on car radios and strange lights. He finds it easier to sleep. The next morning, his grandma tells him that Lucy was also attacked the same night. She tells Tom to visit Lucy. When Tom visits Lucy, he finds out that he has a new ability. He can hear conversations from electronic devices and see data because of the phone pieces in his brain. This power helps him find out some truth. At Lucy's house, he finds her brother, Eugene, awake and talking. Using his new ability, Tom finds Wi-Fi signals and feels sorry for not protecting Lucy. He asks for her forgiveness, and she understands his problems and hopes for the future. On his way home, his powers grow stronger, and he can hear conversations from far away. This makes him feel bad, and he faints. In his dream, he sees Eugene, and Eugene was there the night Lucy was attacked. After waking up, Tom tells his grandma that he wants to go back to school after his surgery. His grandma is worried, but she supports him. Back at school, he meets Danny again and tells him about his suspicions about Eugene. Danny does not believe him and says Eugene might be bad, but he would not do such a bad thing. On the school bus, Tom notices everyone using their phones and feels lost in thought. Danny talks about a party and asks Tom if he wants to go. Tom is not sure and answers vaguely. At school, Tom focuses on Eugene's phone because he thinks Eugene might have hurt Lucy. As the day goes on, Tom sees Eugene receiving a video. Using his new abilities, he finds out that it is the video of Lucy's attack. Tom is very angry and uses his power to make Eugene's phone get too hot. Tom realizes he has the incredible ability to control phones by manipulating signals. Feeling empowered, he decides to use this power to confront those who hurt Lucy. One night, he attends a party Danny mentioned. There, he notices Eugene's friends wearing shoes strikingly similar to those worn by the men who attacked Lucy, confirming his suspicions. Tom's anger flares as he confronts Eugene. Eugene, however, does not take kindly to Tom's accusations. A heated argument ensues, threatening to escalate into a physical altercation. Fortunately, Danny intervenes, preventing the confrontation from turning violent. Despite Danny's skepticism, Tom remains convinced of Eugene's involvement in Lucy's assault. After the party, Tom speaks with Lucy, urging her to return to school. Fearful of facing her attackers, Lucy hesitates. Tom reassures her, emphasizing the importance of continuing their studies together and confronting their challenges head-on. As they talk, Lucy spots Eugene and his three friends on the street, confirming Tom's belief that they were her attackers. Back at home, Tom continues to perceive signals and calculations, as if his mind has developed an extraordinary ability to perceive things beyond the realm of normal human senses. That night, he initiates his act of revenge, by sending an anonymous message to Eugene's group. Having learned to hack mobile phone servers and various other electronic devices using his mind, Tom successfully infiltrates Eugene's phone and extends his reach to all electronic devices in Eugene and his friends' houses, revealing private moments. One such moment involves catching Cass engaging in an embarrassing act in his room. The next day in class, Tom, taking advantage of his newfound abilities, uses the projector to showcase the video of Cass's embarrassing moment. The entire class erupts in laughter, and Cass, humiliated, faces the brunt of this public shaming. When Tom visits Lucy later, he intrigues her with the latest tale he has to share. Maintaining an air of mystery, he initially contacts her anonymously, suggesting she refer to him as Eboe. He then invites her to enjoy the view by the river, signaling a positive change in her healing process. Lucy reveals that after the traumatic incident, Tom was the only one who had visited and comforted her. He makes a heartfelt promise to always protect her, even if it means sacrificing himself. However, on their journey back, an unexpected twist occurs when they encounter Eugene and his group of friends. Eugene claims they feel sorry for Lucy and express their intention to find the perpetrators of the crime. Just when Eugene is about to attack Tom, Tom sends a secret message to Eugene and his friends, which confuses them. Tom and Lucy quickly run away. Tom continues to bother Eugene at night. Eugene and his friends get locked in a car. The car starts by itself and makes smoke. Tom uses the radio to ask why they attacked Lucy. Cass says they were told to do it by someone named Cuts. Tom finds out that Cuts is the bad guy behind everything. When he goes to Cuts' place, he sees Kean and even Danny. On TV, someone is peeing on Cuts' car, 
which distracts him. Tom uses his mind to control things at Cut's place, making a mess. He finds drugs and takes them. He then hides the drugs in Eugene and his friends' houses. The police come and arrest them because of the drugs. They all get in trouble at the police station. Cut's money disappears. The next night, he gets a scary message from the big boss, Elman. Tom tries to find Elman, but he can't because Elman is not on any network. Elman tells everyone to find e -Bowie. They take all the laptops and other devices that can be used for hacking, but Tom doesn't need devices for his powers. The next day, Tom stops Elman from selling drugs. Nan is worried about Tom and asks Danny to watch him. Tom follows Cut's car, but Cut's throws away his phone. Tom is trying to find Cut's. He hears a plane and decides to hack a satellite. He finds Cut's at the port. Tom learns how to fight from the internet. He hits guards and breaks the drugs, but Cut's men attack him. Tom makes a loud noise that hurts everyone's ears and runs away. The next day, Tom wakes up by the river. He is tired. Lucy is waiting for him at school because they promised to take an exam together. But Tom is late and Lucy is mad. He tries to convince her and they leave the school. They see Cass's body hanging, which is very scary. Tom sees Danny and asks him about Cass's death. Danny blames Eboe. Feeling guilty about Cass's death, Tom goes to see his doctor. He asks the doctor to remove the remaining pieces of the cell phone stuck in his brain. The doctor warns that this could be very dangerous for him. When Tom returns home, he gets a big shock. Kean waits for him with a gun, and Elman and Cuts are also there. Cuts holds Nan hostage. Oddly, Tom can't see Elman's real face. Something messes with the frequency in his brain. Elman, knowing about Tom's abilities, threatens to kill Lucy if Tom doesn't do what they want. Tom finds himself in a tough spot. While Lucy is ambushed by Eugene, Tom uses his hacking skills to break into Eugene's cell phone. He quickly calls the police to save Lucy. At the same time, Elman calls Danny, who betrays Tom by revealing his identity as Eboe for money. Danny has been a traitor all along. Elman then forces Tom to hack into a bank and refill his empty account. Using only his mind, Tom slowly adds money to the account. Meanwhile, the police start to arrive where Lucy is held captive. Eugene and his two accomplices manage to escape. Lucy grabs a nearby gun and aims it at Eugene and his gang. She escapes briefly, but runs into Elman, who is with Tom. She ends up being a hostage again, and Elman demands that Tom refill his account with even more money. The frequency tampering in Elman's phone disrupts the system, making it hard for Tom to hack the phone. Instead of adding money, Tom accidentally makes the phone explode. Tom uses his abilities to easily defeat Elman's man. Elman runs outside, and Tom chases him. But Tom gets trapped when Elman suddenly appears behind him and beats him down. Just as Elman is about to kill Tom, Lucy appears with a gun. She shoots Elman in the arm, but in her panic, Elman grabs the gun and hits Lucy, knocking her down. Tom, determined to save Lucy, uses his remaining strength to unleash a powerful electric shock. This kills Elman and his men instantly. After the intense battle, Tom is exhausted and wakes up in the hospital the next day, with Nan by his side. As days pass, life begins to return to normal. On his way to Lucy's home, Tom runs into Danny. In a sincere moment, Danny asks for forgiveness, feeling ashamed of his greedy actions. Tom says he knew Danny was at Lucy's house when bad things happened. He saw Danny recording everything. Even though they were friends, Tom didn't tell Danny anything. Now, Tom tells Danny that he should feel bad about what he did. Tom tells Danny that their friendship is over and he doesn't want to see Danny again. Tom and Lucy go on a date. They feel happy together. Lucy knows Tom is Eboe. He can still hack things, but he will only use his power for good. Tom and Lucy have a romantic dinner at the top of a building. They kiss under the city lights. They are happy and hope for a good future. The end. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Turn on notifications and like this video to help the channel.